Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and finally today we will create this type of the facade as you can see so what we're gonna do we will create the uh, all these panels and after that we will use Dynamo to make it uh, randomize so let's get start first thing first let's go to the file and let's create the new we will create the new family let's go to the new family so what we're gonna use today we will use metric generic pattern based so you will find it we will use only pattern based before we will continue let's uh, set up our network just select uh, this working plane actually it's not working plane this is our network select it and you will find what the type of the pattern we are using as you can see this is style pattern grids and this is tree something with tree something so because this is from the imperial coming to us we will use exactly 3000 by 3000 millimeters we are using the metric system so we will use the exactly numbers we have the dots here you cannot do anything with these dots you cannot remove it as you can see you cannot change you cannot change the position not i mean uh, the height or deepness i mean the position of that you cannot change it because you uh, will place exactly on this tile okay so now you understand these dots this is like const so let's create our own dot first i want to create here dots one two three and four so we have the four dots uh guys uh you should understand i'll show you right now so how it's working here we have the line the long line here we have one dot and the second dot right here is the start here is the end all this way is from the zero to the one so it means for example our dot is here some way here right it's approximately 0 0.1 if i want to move it some way here i want to change this position to 0 0.3 and till the one one it's exactly this position so exactly where is the dot okay this fast explain uh here i have the dot here i have also the dot as you can see uh what i'm gonna do i will select this dot and let's find this uh parameter where i can change the position of that let's go here normalize curve parameter and you will see 0 0.9 so uh everything all right as you can see but uh as you understand if here 9 here will be 1 it means here is the zero actually it doesn't matter but let's make our parameters uh, more mm, more nicely i will change now the my measure from to the end and you will see it's close to the wall 0 0.1 and let's make it 0 0.1 because i like when the numbers it's correct 0 0.1 okay exactly in 0 0.1 let's select this point and let's see okay this one will be also 0 0.1 now to easily understand right let's see what's going on here let's select that okay see here it's already 0 0.1 nice and let's select that one okay here is 0 0.9 let's change to the end and let's say here 0 0.1 okay <clears throat> so what we're gonna do next next we want to create some lines let's I'll create the lines go to the reference line and find here the line don't forget switch on 3d snapping let's snap to this point and that point and again from that point to that point perfect okay we did it so what we're gonna do next next we want to uh, create a few more points yes this is everything about the points one point second one more one more okay we did it let's select this point let's see again okay here is 0 0.1 you understand what i'm what, what i want to do here it will be 0 0.1 what's going on here i will change to the end and i'll say 0 0.1 and i'll select that one and i'll say okay i should change first to the end and i'll say 0 0.1 okay so we did it uh but it's not finished actually this uh, dot it will be like a reference to the next dots yes uh what we're gonna do select all these internal dots like this and uncheck show normal reference plane uncheck it 
and after that go to the one it's selected and say always. Ok, we're done. As you can see we get something strange things, so we can see now all working planes beside on our um, point, so this is what I want, because I will place some points on these work planes. Ok, so uh, let's do it. Uh, first I need to uh, choose the reference after that point and after that working plane, don't forget. And choose this horizontal one, as you can see. Choose this working plane and place exactly on the, your middle point. You will get some error message, no worries about that, just say OK. And just continue, set, working plane, place your dot, OK. And just on and on, nothing happened, I will show you what we will do. And one more time set place okay so what we're gonna do next uh just by tab key i'm choosing my reference point as you can see i will select that and i will say my offset will be 500 millimeters so and as you can see it's exactly now 500 millimeters above this dot whenever this dot will go that will follow it uh, you understand right okay so, but I want to make it a bit parameterized. So, as you can see, we have here offset and let's click here the small button and let's create new parameter and also let's call it offset. Offset. But don't forget, we needed instance. Let's make it instance. Let's say OK. Let's say OK again. So now I will uh, select the second point and uh, now I just can apply the parameter offset and, and it will be automatically changed to the 500 millimeters. Again I will select this point, I will set for uh, the my offset parameter will be offset parameter and it will go to the 500 millimeters. Uh, this is pretty easy I think, but we need to do it one more time. One more time here, give me the offset here. Ok, so uh, now what we're gonna do, now we should create uh, the same dots for our main dots. So let's do the same thing. Reference dot set and let's place it. Yes, I know this is taking the time. Don't forget always use the uh, set. As you can see, I'm using the set. After that, I'm placing my dot. Again, set, set, place the dot. Again, set dot and make the parameter of set. Better for you make it one by one. Yes, I know you can select everything and uh, you can give this parameter, but my my suggestion for you for you uh, do it by one by one. This hundred percent sure you not will do some mistakes. Okay, done. We have the points as you can see. Let's check it out. Is it parametrical? No, I will select my uh, my working plane. I'll say here four thousand five hundred millimeter. Done, everything working as you can see exactly above the dot. Ctrl Z. And now what we're gonna do? Now I will use my uh, reference plane and I will use the line. Don't forget about 3D snapping. Select this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot, that. Okay, now uh, under the dead dots we should do the same line. Just continue it done. The same thing here, here we don't need actually, uh, we will do only above. Where is this dot? Here the dot, here the dot, dot and one more, done. So uh, let's select the our basement and let's select this one and now say create the form. Here is our form. Now select your form and let's hide the element. So what we're gonna do, we will select now internal one and we will select above the internal one and now we will create void form. Done. As you can see we get something like that. Let's try it as how it's working. Let's say 4500 working and as you can see nothing collapsing. Let's change our offset 3000 millimeters stress test everything working. So this is what I want. Let's uh, make it back to 2000 millimeters because I prefer to use 2000 millimeters. Uh, so what we're gonna do next 
And next we should create uh, our window. Uh, and I prefer use the other model because it will be really simple. Let's go to the family. Uh, let's find here the metric adaptive uh, family. We need only adaptive point family. So, uh -huh. Metric model adaptive. Uh, and we need only four dots. One, two, three, four. You can you can not be here so accurate. Just remember where one, two, three, four. Okay. And after that, go to the reference line and just connect the line. Don't forget your line should be B with 3D snapping. Without 3D snapping, it's not will be work. Select your line and create uh, a surface and create it in just a plane. Okay. Select your plane and let's create the material. I will select the material. I will use for this one glass. Where is the my glass? I should I should have here some glass. Let's find the glass. Aha, uh -huh, here. And let's make the pattern solid fill. And I want to make it blue. Why not? Okay, done. Let's load inside to our family. And now I will just connect it to these dots. One by one. Done. We did it. We did it. I cannot see. <laughs> oh, yeah. But actually, I cannot see my family. One, one, two, three, four. Let's let me. I will check one more time. One, two, three, four. Ah, yeah, it's here. Okay, it's here. Just the material is different. Let's go inside to the material. Uh, you can find the material under the manage materials. And here the glass we should change. Sorry, because it was my mistake. We will change it to the blue one. Let's say okay, okay. And here is the blue, as you can see. Done. Let's load inside to the our new project. We should create the new project. Uh, you can close that. Don't save it. Uh, let's create the new project. I mean this one you will save I mean panel you can you can do not save go to the new find here the conceptual mess okay and let's use the conceptual mess this is better for us uh, now we gonna make just a line just a line one line the second point and let's extrude it select the line say create the form and you can say you extruding it okay we did it something now let's select this Thing. this our surface let's divide it by surface let's select your surface and we will change the layout to the fixed distance and fixed distance as you can see to us here only 1700 and 1800 let's make it 3000 as we did and 3000 as we did we did it something like that and let's uh, uncheck border tile we will say empty okay done we can load our panel. Go, go back to the panel and load inside to the project. Load inside to the project. So here is our panel already. You just need to select your pattern. After that, go to the properties and find your family. Uh -huh, it's here. Let's select it. Few seconds. Done. You get your family here. And as you can see, my glass again not as I want. So what we're going to do? I will change to the hidden mode. Uh, and I will go to the manage again, to the material, I will find my glass and I will say I want a solid and I want a blue, make it blue please. Okay, done, so it's blue. And let's use Dynamo, so this is Dynamo time, let's choose Dynamo, it's really easy uh, script what we, will go, go, what we will create today. Let's use it, waste of my Dynamo. Okay, let's create the new one. And what we're gonna do? We need category. Let's say category. Category. So, aha, uh -huh, this we need category here. And we need all type by category. Let's find it. We I cannot find it. Let's say all. Um okay type let's find it by type oh we will use family types it's better family types and all element types not family types and 
where is that I want to use it uh, okay family type family type I got it all uh, all 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 family types it's here okay let's choose it oh which one our family I think let's check it out our family it's family number two as you can see the name spelling should be, be right because you not understand what's going on now I should check where is my panel to understand where is the, my family so this is family two and of course I will choose here the family two to the all elements by type and as you can see I have 30 panels this is right so what we're gonna do next next I need to change the parameters of the offset as you can see we have the here offset 3000 millimeters so how we can do that right click and say set parameters by name let's connect element to the element and name parameter we know this is offset just left click double left click use the brackets and say offset it should be be on the red color as you can see and with the this brackets without that it's not will be work let's connect to the parameter and now we need to create only the value we cannot create only one value because we have 30 objects so we need 30 values how we can do that left click double double left click again and just do what I'm doing we will start from the 10 millimeters till mm, let's say 300 millimeters 2000 millimeters each 100 millimeters and we get 30 parameters and as you can see it's different uh, by 100 millimeter as you can see dun, 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 dun. perfect but if I will connect now straight away I will get like a wave so as you can see it will be not so dyna dynamical it will be Mm, uh, like yeah it will be like a wave I wanna uh, chaos so what I'm gonna do the right click and say shuffle and now you will see what we'll get let's see just check it out as you can see here is not any error here here is really chaos but here it's a uh, str straight uh, hierarchy. So now we will connect this list to this value and just wait. Done. As you can see, we get interesting form. Uh, how many time we spent? 15 minutes. So as you can see, now you can create really nice thing. If you're interested in this tutorial, don't forget about the likes, comments, uh, share and whatever. And also one more thing, guys. Now I have the my uh, Telegram chat. You can join us if you have some questions. Uh, you can uh, help to some uh, new people to understand how to wor work in Le uh, Revit and maybe you have some suggestion to create new videos or something else. So join us in Telegram and I hope we will create the one of the nice best community Revit um, chat in Telegram. Thank you and see you next time.